Hi guys, welcome to Brass Tactics. It's a new VR game. It's a strategy game. And let's try it out. It's first of a kind and we will check it together. So this is the option menu, music and all the regular controls. Credits, quit. We got here switch button. I think it switches the hard mode of the game. Okay, view. Let's see. Pick up towers with the trigger to examine its units. Press the color buttons to change the team color and the metal button metal button to change your unit stream okay we got warriors archers cavalry wasp m mechanic mechanic tank titan and artillery okay let's the archers are your primary ranged unit they deploy in squads to rain destruction from a distance i've always been partial to archers there's something elegant about them. And of course, those arrows are excellent against the cursed wasps. Okay, so I can face archers. Squad of six, low health, fast projectile, strong with you, warriors, wasps, and dragons. Weak with you, cavalry, artillery, and rocketeer. So I can select my team color. Cool. Green. Okay, I like this one. These warriors are your essential core melee unit. They're trained to work in tight squads. Each unit is a wondrous feat of mechanical engineering, designed by our most accomplished architects. Your mounted squads are outstanding at covering distance quickly. Watching the cavalry train led me to design my first mechanical horse. Okay. Wasps. Necessary. They are your airborne squad. I do admire their construction, for they are truly a masterpiece of engineering. But I must admit, I loathe them. Okay. Ah, the mechanic. I think you'll find that every architect group loves these protecting they are towers, upgrade for the battlefield. protection from these fire. These keep your forces in good mechanical order. Okay. It doesn't matter how well engineered the clockwork mechanisms are. In battle, sometimes repairs are necessary. Okay. Look at the construction of Tank. those legs. They let these tanks move in any direction. Truly, they are a clockwork marvel. And I have nothing but admiration for the architect who developed them. The th this beautiful machine is a mobile artillery unit. It can transform into a powerful stationary weapon. I could spend all day just watching it pack and unpack. In truth, the transformation is breathtakingly intricate. Whoa. Here we have a prime example of a giant humanoid form. You need that for mobility and to wield the massive cool. hammers. Take all the time you want looking at this. I never get tired of admiring what I accomplished with this design. Okay. The archers are your primary ranged unit. They deploy in squads to rain destruction from a distance. I've always been partial to archers. There's something elegant about them. And of course, hmm. those arrows are excellent against the cursed wasps. Nice. All black? No. Hmm. White. Oh, okay. Like this one. Oh. Your mounted squads are outstanding okay. at covering distance. Let's quickly. take the Watching the cavalry campaign. train led me to design my first mechanical force. Friends, difficulty normal. 
in pain. In the desert, best score. Quick match, quick match. Play with friend, so what solo is do we have a training? Okay, just skirmish. Okay, let's do campaign. First mission of the campaign. Let's go. Ah, you're here. Yeah. Thank the blue lady for that. Now, you must have an imperial ton of questions. Sure. I know. I'm sorry. I wish we had found you sooner, but for right now, what you need to know is that Princeps Savolto is encroaching into our. Montclair. Okay. Best to resume. Territory. He's already taken over several city states, and the devil is trying to claim our Ferris magnet mines, which are vital for my Titan project. Okay. So let's get started. In front of you is my responsibility and my joy. Our war table, where all the action takes place. You can raise and lower the table by grabbing and adjusting it with both hands, like this. Now you try. Squeeze both grip buttons simultaneously to raise or lower the table until it is about waist high. Good. Oh, I see units. You can cool. also move the table around by grabbing it with one hand and sliding it like so. This allows you to quickly access any part of the battlefield with a flick of a wrist. Give it a shot. Squeeze one grip button and pull to move the table to get a closer look at the enemy castle. That's where Princeps Gero is situated. So many names, I know. He's one of Zavolto's vassals, but don't worry. He doesn't know about you yet. Okay, he got you archers. That up very quickly. And what? Take a moment to try moving the table no, in different it's directions. Warriors. And now move backwards to our castle so we can build our first tower. Okay. Warriors. Warriors. With archers? Or what are they? Okay. Towers are placed in open round sockets, like the one in front of our castle. Okay. Turn your wrist, palm up, until the pallet <laughs> appears. With your other hand, grab a tower with your trigger and put it in the round socket. Okay. Perfect. Now we have a tower. Towers allow us to train squads, which increase our military strength. Okay. To train a squad, touch one of our towers to highlight it. Then press A. Press A. You've queued up a squad. You can queue up to three squads at a time at each tower. Okay. After a short time, the squad will appear on the battlefield next to the tower. Population or... Okay. Just like that. To command our squad, squeeze the trigger and point at it. While still holding the trigger, point where you want it to go and release the trigger. Okay. That's it. Cool. One of Jero's warrior squads is stationed nearby. To attack, select your squads using the trigger. Point at an enemy squad and release. Oh, this is cool. One down, one to go. Okay, so... I knew it. That's exactly how Princeps Moravia would have worked. Excellent. Now let's capture that region next to our castle before Jero's forces do. 
First, move a squad to the highlighted tower socket. It will open up for you when your squad arrives. Now that the socket is open, place a tower onto it, just like before. Remember to turn your wrist so your palm faces upward to access the tower pallet. Let's do the horses. You've taken control of this region. Captured regions produce ore and jewels for us, which we need to train squads, build towers, and upgrade our castle. Take a look at your wrists. Your gauntlets show your current resource totals, as well as the amount of your next jewel payout. Okay. Spend ore to train new squads. Spend jewels to construct towers, add upgrades to our castle, build turrets, or to help train elite unit squads. Let's upgrade our castle, which hasn't seen improvements since Princeps Moravia's time. Okay. First, move back behind our castle. Next, grab an upgrade from the drawer using the trigger, yeah. place it onto a square socket next to the castle, and release. Veteran warriors, home front, blacksmith, veteran cavalier. Hmm, okay. Let's do this one. Excellent. Castle oh. upgrades can improve the strengths of our squad, improve our economic efficiency, and a region's defensive capability. Okay. Botheration. Jero is connecting to us from his war room. Hmm. Roliano de Leraldo. You aren't going to tell me they have me facing an architect today. Princeps Jero. <clears throat> Lovely weather. In Tenego, it is. Plus, I am surprised you recognize it as such. The desert is greatly underappreciated. Well, let's get on with it. Who is your new scion? I could ask you the same question. I've disabled the communicatus, which ordinarily allows scions to talk to each <laughs> other. I'd rather that he not know who you are yet. Your identity needs to stay secret until I can finish my project. Let's move in and take our regions back from Jero's forces. We should act swiftly and press the advantage while he still underestimates our capabilities. Do you see the destructible wall just ahead? It blocks our path to the next region. Destroy the wall by attacking it directly. Since we've placed two upgrades, we've upgraded our castle to level two. Okay. Upgrading the castle allows for us to train more total squads and makes the towers and castle tougher to destroy. In later missions, it will also unlock additional upgrades and elite squads. Our castle has increased in level. Okay. We have more? Not for now. Okay, so. We got our... Let's see. Hey guys, okay. Need more here. Bring them here. Okay. You will bring them here. So, come on, guys, here. Charge. Nice. You looted some ore and jewels from that resource cache. You are going to be distinctly annoying, I see. Okay. So we got some forces here. We got some more stuff to upgrade here. Okay. Let's bring them here. Build more horses. Break. 
this wall and you guys come here be ready here and you guys come here and you come here and you come here okay you guys be ready here okay So how do I break it? Keep going. Destroy the enemy towers and squads in this region, then capture it with your towers. Okay, let's... Okay, let's do this. Let's take these horses and attack those guys and throw here and you will come here and you guys will wait here. You guys need to take this one. Okay. You guys. <laughs> oh, well done indeed. This region has been cleared of enemies. Let's capture it. Remember to move a squad next to the tower socket to open it up. Archers. You, you captured my region. I don't even know who you are. Ha. <laughs> Wouldn't he like to know? With this region captured, we only have one more to take back from Jero so we can reach his castle. Looks as though Jero is going to attack. We can defend our region by spending jewels to build a turret, if one is available to us. Find the turret node in the region we just captured. Touch the turret node and press A. This costs us jewels, but turrets are automatic and powerful. That's it. Turrets provide additional defense to their surrounding area. Jero's cavalry is closing in. Now our turret will prove its effectiveness. The last enemy region is on top of the hill. Let's build up and take it. Okay. Let's. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm here. And you guys. How can I attack only them? Okay. One to here. And archers, I want you here. Archers. Come here. And you guys come here. Okay. And you guys come here also. So let's take these guys, put them on hold here, and these guys put them on hold here. And you here, you here, and you here. So we will use 
Uh, we will use these guys. On here, and let's try. Go back. I have high ground. Careful. Jero's got archers at the top of the ramp. Okay. Ranged units shoot further from high ground, so you will have a hard time charging them uphill. I'd recommend gathering a force of at least five squads before trying to take them out. Okay. So let's do right here. Let's charge with the horses. And let's take all of you to here. Remember to destroy all towers and enemies in a region to capture. Okay. You guys come here. You guys come here. the enemy let's capture the region okay let's put here horses and let's put here ah, what excellent. else this region is a multi-socket region this region has two sockets once you capture one with a tower the other will open automatically placing a second one will increase your income and make it harder for the enemy to take over no, no. You have full ownership over all the regions, which I grant is how business is done. But the Vortho will be displeased. I bet he will. All that's left is destroying the enemy castle. Ooh, lady. Jero has really lost his fire. Rumor has it that Zavalto is holding a scion as hostage. I'm not sure I believe it because... I mean, territories change hands, but families are sacred. Now it's time to remove Jero from his castle and drive him from this place. You've got control of many regions now, so train up a good-sized force of squads and command them to destroy the defense turrets. Then move on to Jero's castle. He'll be training new squads now that his back is against the wall, so watch out. Good luck. Destroy Jero's castle so we can seal this victory and call it a day. Okay.
We cannot build towers in the enemy's home region. Let's press on and destroy their castle. Jero's castle. New to the table, and you're already a competent scion with a bright future. Yeah. What sort of toothless battle were you playing at, Jero? Ah, oh, Bring Caps of Altor. Uh, I was simply trying to conserve resources. And... You bile swallowing dog fart. You just needed to counter their archers with cavalry and cavalry with warriors. A child could have held this region. You see why I disabled the communicanus. Otherwise, they could hear us. But thank the Blue Lady, I was right about you. Well done. Truly. If we didn't have this region and its ferrous magnets, our Titan project would be at a standstill. I just wish they were enough by themselves. Victory. Okay guys, this is about the first level in the campaign. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. If you did, please leave me a like. If you have something to say about this game, please leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos of this game or any of my other games, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.